Uh, not everything in Egypt is granite. There's a lot of limestone and quite a bit of sandstone constructions. Now, well, they found copper chisels and we'll be using a copper saw. Uh, they used to call it a grub saw. I use this a lot in the quarries in the old days and that's just a piece of pipe I cut and flattened out and I've put some uh, teeth in there. Anything that a, a copper smith back in the day could have made, just this is a piece of pipe, I've just flattened it out. So it's not, you know, it's as primitive as a chisel as you can get. And I have two samples. This is, uh, this is a tougher sandstone and this is a nice fine grain um, sandstone but it, it's softer now. Let's just do, uh, first I'll use the, the grub saw and uh, so I'm gonna start a cut there. Doesn't take long, uh, even no abrasive, just with a um, toothed copper saw. Okay, I've already cut down a few mil into the sandstone. Sandstone has a Mohs hardness of seven, which is the same as granite. Um, obviously has been damaged done to the sandstone. The softer uh, three and a half to four on Mohs skull copper saw is uh, hardly a dent um, in it, if any damage at all. So you can cut uh, sandstone. This is a tougher sandstone block. And let's start with there's no group. It'd be nice if I had a handle on this. But the cut and there was it a minute 30 set whatever very short time you know so of course you'd be at this for you know more than a, a few seconds but that works as well so the copper chisel which is not even sharp it's just again it's just a piece of pipe that's been flattened out uh, what it has to do so a common quarry style now this was from uh, uh, a drill because I wanted to split the electric drill, I wanted to split the stone, but you'll see that these are the claw marks as they call them, Qua uh, standard quarrying technique, and that's it. a bit of purchase there. So whether it's limestone or sandstone, copper chisels do work. Yep, I've got it now. So, you know, just with a few strikes, I took that piece out. See now, I've already started to you know, address the stone again. That's just a short time, a small demonstration. So, you know, for instance, these pieces I'd done, but this type of face was all there across the whole surface, and that was what I'd done earlier, just by slowly working um, with the copper.
copper chisels. Limestone, sandstone, not a problem. Um, there are some very hard sandstones where the copper tool would wear out much quicker, but uh, most of Egypt is limestone, then sandstone, and then granite being the you know, major type of uh, constructions of temples and that type of thing. So I just wanted to show a demo. Copper saws, copper chisels, the, ma the main building materials, limestone and sandstone as well. Links in the description to a bunch of other people who have um, made proper Egyptian arsenical copper chisels and they work limestone fine. So, oh, I'm not in shot. Yeah, so don't be intimidated uh, by that type of stuff.